C10 solve for x. Now we have three different kinds of equations here and this is to build your foundation to solve equations. Now you'll see x in different position. Here x is to the base and here x is in the argument and here x is in the equation. Correct? Now I'll show you how in different situations you need to solve for x. Now the first one is log to the base x of 4 equals to half. So this could be written in exponential form, right? And then you get 4 equals to x to the power of half, right? So that is 4 equals to x to the power of half. So that gives you the solution for the first one, that is x is equals to 4 square, correct? So we can write this as 4 square equals to x or 16 equals to x. So, so that gives you the answer for the first one. <clears throat> now, the second one. Here we have base is square root of 3, correct? Therefore, we can write this as x is equal to, now x is here, so we can write x as equals to, again we are writing the similar exponential form, right? Last time x was the base, so it became base to the power of half, correct? Which was 4 and then we squared it. This time the base is square root 3. So x is equals to the base which is square root 3 to the power of 4, correct? So and square root 3 to the power of 4 is 81, correct? So now square root 3 to the power of 4 is square root 3 square, like, let me write, square root 3 square is 3 and 3 to the power of 3 is 9. So we'll just multiply 4 times, or let me write this as, so it is 3 square which is 9, correct? So square root 3 to the power of 4 will be 9. So that is your answer for this one. Now, <clears throat> Here we have an equation and we have the same basis. Do you see log to the base 2 equals to x cube and log to the base 2 equals to 4x. So we can write that this is possible if x cube is equals to 4x. So we get our equation without log. So it's a common equation. Now, now we can break it to one side or we can say well either x is equal to 0 that is one solution but x is, cannot be 0 for log. Correct? Therefore, the other solution is that x squared equals to 4, correct? Now, x squared equals to 4 gives us, again, two solutions. One is plus minus 2, square root of 4. But again, we know 0 is not possible. 0 not possible, right? Not possible. So, we eliminated that solution. Here, we know negative 2 not possible, correct? Because it is not in the domain. Therefore, x equals to 2 is the solution, is the only solution, right? Correct.